Hello viewers and welcome to a preview for Formula Retro Racing, uh, a game that uses the whole flat shaded polygon technique to generate the feeling of virtual racing, the feeling of those old arcade games from yesteryear. Simplistic, colourful, feel good atmosphere. Uh, and it's a surprise this one, it's come out of nowhere and I, it, it casts my mind back when I look at it to classic titles and I show you here a bit of Stunt Race FX running on the Nintendo Switch here. Uh, just having a quick go on this, I had the scan lines turned on to excuse those, I always like to give it a bit of retro feel when I'm racing. Uh, and this game at the time was, was amazing, you know, the, the, the idea, the scale, the physics. Uh, I mean, it's so dated by today's standards. And then you have Virtual Racing, which, of course, was released with the SVP chip, of course, on the, the, the Mega Drive. I covered this a couple of years ago. And again, you can see high-speed graphics. Uh, again, this was hugely impressive uh, to have that in a cartridge when you bought it. But it was a very expensive game, and a lot of us weren't able to buy it at release. Virtual Racing, of course, was released on Nintendo Switch last year. And, of course, now we have arcade perfect conversions there is still an appreciation for this aspect of the genre and it's something that i still can't get enough of i play a lot of this on my nintendo switch uh, and the grand prix mode i will say in particular with the tire wear really adds a lot to the game but formula retro racing is here it comes out on the 15th of may next week it's come out of nowhere a couple of videos i mean we mentioned it on a podcast uh, a few weeks, or I say a couple of months ago now, goodness, time flies, and uh, we didn't really know much about it. It was going to be shown at the EGX Red Show, which was cancelled, uh, of course, and so this was our first chance to have a look at it, and it's coming out next week. So I'm just showing you some footage from my first play through the game uh, and getting a feel for it. And, uh, and this game has been developed by one guy, Andrew, won't mind me mentioning it. He, uh, he's developed this game pretty much on his own, uh, it's his own little passion project and I've given him some feedback as well in terms of getting that retro vibe right and it's uh, great to see the work he's done. Uh, a lot of fun, you know, and there's a lot of improvements to handling coming into it since this version as well. Uh, so he's always in, he's tweaking the game right now. There's a lot of work to do between now and launch, my goodness. But uh, he's really captured that feel. And I, I know there was the other game, a Racing Apex, that was originally going to be the one. And nearly there a couple of years ago. And then it sort of disappeared and it's coming back as Hot Shot Racing. But if anything, this game sort of steps in there, filling that void and giving you that classic sort of flat shaded polygon feel. Scratching that itch, as it were, in terms of retro racing. And a nice flow to the courses as well. They're not too over detailed. They capture the feeling, the vibe of that time. And the handling of the cars, uh, the improvements that have been made recently really have added to that as well. So you can really place the car a bit more where you want to place it and get on the power. Really nice feel to driving these courses. Now, there are eight courses in the game. This isn't a huge game. This is an indie game made by one guy uh, and it's Nice little project. Now it's going to be converted to different formats. I don't have all the information in front of me in terms of what formats, but I believe it's coming from both consoles, PC and a Nintendo Switch version. Perhaps eventually, I don't know when that's all happening at the moment. Information is limited, but I love these tracks. So I was racing around them, gradually learning what corners you could take at full speed, what line you should take through the corners, when you should brake, when you should lift. Uh, and there's also an eliminate, eliminator mode in the game as well. So as obviously if you're at the back, you're going to get, you're going to fall off. So you've got to keep yourself overtaking. Uh, it's um, been a lot of fun so far. I've enjoyed exploring these different courses. Some of them are based on real race tracks. So if you think of a real race track that's got the longest straight in the world, and then heavy braking at the end of it, you might guess what some of these courses are based on. But they give you a nice retro vibe. And there's also slipstream element behind the other cars. You have to get quite close to them for the slipstream to work and then it's very strong. So you've got to be careful. Sometimes when you get close to the car in front, you've got to back off a little bit. Otherwise, you're just going to go straight into the back of them. Uh, so it's all about lifting when you're behind the cars. And here we are in a, in a principality somewhere, uh, driving around. And uh, again, the course has been altered to make it more, you know, easier but more adaptable for the style of game 
but it's all there, isn't it? And uh, all the key aspects are there. And it's a nice flowing course. It makes you wonder whether you enjoy this more than the other one. So uh, as we go down into the tunnel, a nice vibe to it. So I've enjoyed this. It, it captures the, uh, it's a simple game. It's not, not a big complex thing. You know, it's, it's a matter of just enjoying racing around. It, we, I don't know what extra modes are going to be in the final game as yet. I know uh, Andrew will be working on final modes and adding other aspects to it. Again, just going through those chicanes of the uh, what looks like a swimming pool. And uh, there we are. Great. So you can hook it all together when, you, when you've not got cars in your way. Uh, past the burger joint and round onto the final straight with lovely trees. I do like the bulbous polygon trees. I love a good bit of foliage and that's nice bulbous looking polygon trees there as we go up the hill. So very nice looking circuit. I like these pointy trees as well just to give you the whole uh, feeling, that sort of VR racing feeling. Blue Skies Gaming we used to call it and it still has all that to it. We have banked corners on this oval. Now the game currently doesn't support steering wheels. I would say at the moment it's not key issue for it. it feels quite nice with the controller. Uh, whether it'll adapt to a wheel I don't know. Uh, some aspects will more than others. But you'd need to be pretty hardcore with a wheel throwing it around. Uh, it's a very much an arcade game. This is an arcade game everybody. But I look forward to what other modes and aspects that can be added to it after launch. So Andrew does intend to keep working on this and adding other aspects to it. Uh, as he goes through development. I think certainly it's captured people's imaginations more than he expected. And I did enjoy this circuit as well. First of all, I wouldn't enjoy this desert track, but I, I did. Great little circuit actually. It's got some committed corners. Oh, just trying to get on the inside there. Oh, I just about managed to get away with it actually. Uh, and I enjoyed this circuit. You really do need to nail it in the first part of the track. But um, this was just a quick look. Uh, some of the tracks, some of the action on uh, Formula Retro Racing uh, and I'll be playing a final version and discussing this a bit more in the next few days but I want to share it with you nice fun little indie game if you like the genre you're probably going to like this and expect nothing more than basically what you're seeing and enjoy some racing but um, that's it from me for now as ever, more soon Hello viewers, well thanks for watching the video today. Do like and subscribe, it supports what we do. Do become a YouTube member. YouTube Patreon supports all of our content you see on the channel. And of course, lots of gaming from retro to modern games. I love it all in terms of racing action. So click on one of the two videos just there to find out more.